Hello and welcome to my second X-Wing review from the first X-Wing Omnibus. This is X-Wing Rogue Squadron, the Rebel Opposition. Um, technically the first X-Wing Rogue Squadron comic being released um, from the time periods of July to October of 95. Um, <clears throat> this book is dated. I'm just going to say that now. I did not enjoy it as much as I did when I first read it this five, six years ago. Well, like seven at this point. Um, in this story, we have two plots that end up meeting up at the end. And I didn't care for either that much. Um, Rogue Squadron's trying to make a food convoy run from Sippler... Silpar to Mirrorlist, which they get attacked by TIE Fighters, and Jansen ends up getting shot down. Um, <clears throat> before I get any further, I should name off the rogues list this time. <coughs> <clears throat> Wedge Antilles, Wes Jansen, and Tycho sell to return into this rogue squadron lineup from Rogue Leader. But they are joined also by... Dlor Nep, um, a rogue member who really likes music, and Plor Isle, who's basically uh, a tough, kind of an asshole character, but it's kind of cool. Um, so they, that is Rogue Squadron in this volume. So back to the plot. So Jansen gets shot down, and Tycho goes to rescue him. Meanwhile, Wedge returns to base and like, oh, uh, nothing's wrong. We'll get them back. Even though one of them got shot down, they haven't heard anything from them. Yeah. So they're trying to, um, they're trying to get this planet, essentially, support to be a rebel planet, or New Republic planet, I should say, since they're the New Republic now. And they're trying to make contact with the Resistance, so they have a contact named Tar a code named Targeter, who's trying is infiltrated in. They don't know who Targeter is, or whatever. And then uh, Wedge meets up with the Resistance leader, uh, Elsko Loro, who is a recurring character in this series. She is accompanied by her um, Wookiee partner Groznik, who owed her husband a life debt, and when her husband died, the life debt is now hers, so he he's uh, bound to her, essentially. And Vance Rego, who we will get to later. They are trying to get, uh, the Resistance is trying to get rid of um, Moff Taskel, who is just killing everyone on this planet because Empire's evil. And, yeah... That's the main plot. Then we get to the second plot, which is Jansen breaks his leg in the crash, and Tycho rescues him. They go to a cave, and then they meet up with Targeter, her her, who turns out to be Winter, who is often mistaken to be Princess Leia. Now, before we get to any more plot, we're going to talk about the art in this. The art in this is very 80s, 90s take a look at that. Um, I'm trying to find some action for you guys. It's it's just bland, I think. Yeah. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, I find that I get I would get Wedge and Tycho mix it up because they look the same except for Tycho's got blonde hair. It's just Face-wise, face -wise, it's meh. Not that good. Uh, it's, it's, but it's doable. And now we get into spoilers. Um, so, Tycho goes undercover to go deal with, um, try to infiltrate the Imperial ranks for some reason. And for some reason, Winter has an Imperial officer's uniform. I don't know. And so, meanwhile, Wedge and the Resistance find a, find a weapons depot. And lo and behold, 
Vance Rago is the traitor. It's so, you can see it a mile away, that it's not a good twist at all. Anyway, near the end, uh, Vance tries to kill Elsko, and Rosnick throws him out of a speeder, and then he gets eaten by weird lion creatures. And, it's just, mm, eh, it's a mess story. Uh, the only, like, edge of my seat I was was when Tycho gets put in a TIE fighter, like, squadron, and then they go and attack the rebels. And he tries to have his, um, his X-Wing attack the, con the uh, TIE fighter convoy, and then he ends up getting shot down because... Winner overrides his like autopilot from his astromech and then shoots him down on accident. Yeah, and then there's the whole uh, last thing is Winter gets mixed up, gets mistaken to be Princess Leia, and Moff Taskel arrests her. And then yeah, he ends up getting thrown. They arrest him at the end, and Elskull joins. Uh, Rogue Squadron, and Groznik joins the Rebellion, essentially, or the New Republic. That is all. Um, there's barely anything you need to get out of this story, um, with the exception of some of the, the this Rogue's lineup. It gets bigger in the next one, um, and Elsko's um, tragic backstory is brought, is talked about more. In the Phantom Affair, and um, Jansen's broken leg is kind of a, is in the f next one when they go to Mirror List, which is a better story. So, would I recommend this? Um, well, the thing is, this is collected in two different sort um, things, and they're both really out of print. It's collected in this omnibus here, and it has its own trade. Um, if you can get any of those for a decent price, well, I recommend this because you get the Phantom Affair in it, which is just a really good story <clears throat> that we'll, I'll get to in the next review. But, um, yeah, I'd recommend getting in this. Don't get the trade. Because the trade is going to be astronomically expensive, probably. And, um, or get the single issues. The single issues are pretty cheap for all these Rogue Squadron series. You can get all of them. That's a good way to read them, too. It's just, it's a four-issue mini. Um, I give this three out of five stars because it's just middle of the road. But it's a necessary read for some of it in The Phantom Affair. Which we will get to next time when I finish this omnibus. Talk about X-Wing Rogue Squadron, The Phantom Affair. I'm excited for this one. Of course, I've already read it at this point, so. Later, guys.